We arrived at the Pullman and entered our room. Uh, we were quite surprised at the size of the room, uh, not knowing what to expect as we had never stayed at Pullman before, but uh, we were pretty excited to go to Pullman, Melbourne City Centre. The bed was absolutely huge and it was really comfy. The best thing was, even if we did a couple of rolls, we still weren't clashing in the middle, which is perfect for us. One of the things that really surprised me was the two big TVs that were in the room. There was two TVs that were at least 75 inches big each, uh, one facing the bed and one facing the couch that was in the room. There was a really long yellow couch with a chase in the room that was perfect for sitting down, kicking back, having a drink on. There was a window behind it, but there wasn't really a great deal to see out the window. The mural was nice though, which is very different from just looking out your window and seeing another building. At least there'd been some sort of effort in making it look beautiful. This is true. In the room, there was like a strange little room divider. It wasn't that big. It was just like about a metre and a half wide and went from floor to ceiling. But on the little divider was some wallpaper all about Melbourne that had all... Different streets and and, um, different places to visit in the city. It was. So that was quite unique in any room that we'd actually been to before. The minibar. We have to stay away from the minibar. Everyone has to stay away from the minibar. It's always beautifully presented, but it costs a small fortune, and this was one that did not have a price list with it, so we steered well and truly away from everything that was on it. There were some cute socks, though. Did you remember those? I do remember the socks. On the bedside table, there was actually a Sonos Bluetooth speaker. Sonos, really good quality company. So uh, we were able to tune our phones into it via Bluetooth and listen to some music while we were there. The bathroom, another great one. Only the best thing about it, actually, was that the toilet paper was on the other side. It wasn't behind you. That's one of our pet hates in a hotel is having to reach behind you to get the toilet paper. So that's always an up for us. No bathtub, just a walk-in shower with a handheld and a rain. What do they call it? A rain? Yes, the rainfall shower heads are really good. Plenty of amenities and the actual body wash and shampoo and actually it smelled amazing. You were pretty happy with that one. I was. I really could have taken some home because it smelled uh, It was pomegranate and something else. I can't quite remember. Grapefruit? Pomegranate and grapefruit, I think. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it smelled absolutely fantastic. So that's about it on our room at the Pullman. It was really good and we really uh, found it quite comfortable to stay in. So we're headed to level 14 here at the Pullman. They've got a bar called The Blossom, also serves with five pizzas, but apparently it's the highest bar in the CBD, so interesting to see what it's like. Mm-hmm. We're going to go outside for our drink and see what the view's like out here. Yeah. Not a bad view. Okay. I reckon I might be up here tomorrow for another drink. This is nice. Straight out the front of Pullman on Swanston Street is one of the best foodie streets in Melbourne. Swanston Street is full of some of the best and most amazing restaurants that you'll find anywhere in Melbourne.
Okay, so our a la carte breakfast the menus have arrived. I got the breakfast burger, which is eggs and a sausage patty and some cheese. Rebecca went for the eggs benedict because she loves a good eggs benedict. So let's hope that it meets her standards. But overall, breakfast here has been quite nice. You can get some cakes as well, some meats, cheeses, you name it, they've got it. I must say though that the coffee machine has been a bit of a challenge for my wife here. It's a, it's like a massive big pod machine, but with a few buttons on it, hasn't it, Dal? Oh, it's ridiculous. Okay, so let's try the breakfast. Being a barista for 12 years, sometimes it's just easier to make your own coffee rather than rely on a machine. <laughs> Looks all right. Okay, so apparently on level one here at the Pullman, there's a fully equipped gym. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so there's a smallish gym here, but there's a definitely a fair bit of room in there, a fair bit of equipment for you to use. Lots of exercise bikes, it caters to uh, everyone who wants to work out. There was weights, treadmills, exercise bikes, you name it. It's here. So definitely a well-stocked gym. The Blossom Bar was definitely a highlight. It was really cool up there. Pretty important that a hotel has a comfy bed because uh, I've been to plenty of hotels that don't have a comfy bed or have a comfy pillow, but I'm pleased to report that just initially laying down here for our first night, not me, not Rebecca, just me, I think the bed is pretty damn comfortable. But okay, so for breakfast here at Pullman today, I got the spicy avocado, which is obviously avocado, bit of feta, poached egg, and Rebecca got the big breakfast, which is like a full English? Yes, no beans. No baked beans on this full English. Okay, so we're just about to check out a Pullman Melbourne city centre. I've been here for two nights. Really enjoyed our stay here. The room was big and spacious, couch, couple of TVs, bed was Somewhat comfortable, I would guess. The pillows were not really to my liking, but I don't like pillows in many different hotels. So My, my pillows were fine. So, like so, usual, though, we always find the hotel rooms much warmer than we would probably have at home. So, that was just one thing that we found. We always find. So, one thing we did find a bit strange is that they didn't make our room up. No, we had to go downstairs. Or... We went out for the day, we've come back, and our room still wasn't made up, which is fine. Both Mark and I have worked in hospitality, we can do it ourselves. But for the price that you pay for this hotel, you would sort of expect it to be done. So it was late afternoon, uh, went down and said, look, you know, is do we did we have to request it? There was no sign on the door that you would normally leave. And they said, oh, I can request it for you now, and it's, it's fine, we've done it. And they actually have a, a program where you can have a core points or a food and beverage voucher. voucher or a bottle of wine. And they didn't offer it. And I saw it on the thing and said, well, can we, we haven't had our room made up. There's no point in you doing it now. Can we have the bottle of wine? And they gave that to us and bought it up and put it into a hotel room for us. So if you paying $250 a night and you don't opt out of that, it is an option to opt out of it completely or to have your room made up we chose to have our room made up which didn't happen then you would sort of expect it to be done so but in the end i would happily stay here again a really good location in the middle of swanston street which is the i would say the food hub of melbourne these mm. days uh each side of the streets are well and truly lined with asian restaurants left right and center it's close to melbourne central shopping uh it's close to the state library QV shopping centre, so it yeah. really is the place to stay in Melbourne these and days. And it's on the free tram line. So. Yeah, even better. So you can get trams to anywhere from here. So yeah, so we really enjoyed our stay at the Pullman. We did. Bye. Bye.
Okay, so we're just checking out. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>